That's worth mentioning too. If you ever see a guy putting a drill bit in by actually turning the chuck and not using the motor to fasten it on properly, point at that guy and tell him that he's an asshole. And a good fucking freezing cold Canadian morning to all of you. So I'm going to show you guys a handyman trick today. If you've got two pieces of lumber that are, you want to make into a longer piece of lumber because you don't have the longer piece of lumber, in my case it's going to be for the shed that I'm currently building. Um, I need 11 foot piece of uh, 2x3. I'm getting a lot of my hardwood 2x3s free from work, but the problem is the, the longest that they get are 8 feet and the shortest pretty much that they get is four feet. So I'm gonna cut one down and I'm gonna put them butt end to butt end. So once you got your butt end down to size, ignore all these lines and these two holes here. That's another method that I did that was complete fucking cattywampus bullshit. Um, you wanna find the center of it. So you wanna draw a line from corner to corner and then quarter to corner. And now that we got our X, we know where our center is. You wanna repeat the process for other piece of lumber. You can still see the fucking leftovers of the abortion that I tried to do. Now get one of your longest threaded nails and we're going to put it right in the center but you don't sink it all the way. So this is a three inch threaded nail so I'm going to put it in, oh, I don't know, about an inch. That fucking battery on my impact's dead so I gotta use a fucking spinny my go around. Alright, something like that is what you're looking for. Now the next step that we're going to do is the head of this screw. We've got to chop it right the fuck off. You can use a grinder, bolt cutter, your teeth, whatever you want. Now if you're going to use bolt cutters, this fucking head is going to go flying off as soon as you cut it. So close your eyes. Alright, so now we've got a pokey in. Alright, so now we're going to take this bit out. We're going to put a drill bit in that's the same size or actually a little bit smaller than that threaded nail. Now on our other piece of wood we're going to drill in right into the, the center of that right there. We're going to go in about an inch or so. Now remember, not too far. She's a nice lady. She wants to save herself. She only wants the tip. I have to excuse the shit lighting up my garage a little bit here. See, we're going to take this pokey end and we're going to stick it in the holy end. And then we're going to start turning the pokey end clockwise. What did you do? Oh, I just give it a twist. Ah, oh, you fucker. Right now you see it's pretty wobbly, but once the ends butt up together like they're about to, there we go. Now when the ends put up together, you really got to muster some strength. If you're really having a hard time, just get one of your thumb detectors and start giving it a whack. Yep, we're going to need a thumb detector. Now when you're hitting it, you just want to hit the one piece and try to spin it in the direction that you're going. There we go, now we're nice and flush. There you go, look at that. She's holding her own weight just by that joint. It is pretty strong, like... Like if I shake this one, it shakes that one. So they're pretty bonded together. It's not so much the screw that's holding the two together, but um, the screw just brings the friction between the two of them, and that really holds it together pretty damn tight. Now to add a little bit of strength to it, what we're going to do is we're going to put a threaded nail toe-nailed through there, well through here into there, and then we're going to do it on the opposite side, we're going to do it on the opposite piece of wood into there into there. You're going to want to use one of these here in the go around, the ones that make a lot more noise. I had to put it through the wrong piece of wood. Now that... Now 
Now that can hold up a lot of fucking spaghetti, I tell you what. There, check that out. Straight as, well, well yeah, straight as a fucking board, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this trick and I hope that you guys can use this trick to your benefit and it'll save you from having to fucking go and get dowels or do a fancy dovetail. A fucking dovetail. Firstly, it's fucking impossible. And secondly, if you're in Canada, stay warm, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember, if you're going to be dumb, you got to be smart.